Now to the Reiner Report. There is a new effort to ban police from using canines to arrest or apprehend suspects. It would also ban police from using canines for crowd control. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner talked to people on both sides of that debate today. Morgan, tell us the reasoning behind this push. Laura, the lawmaker behind the bill says that the use of police canines has been the backbone of this country's history of racial bias and violence against black Americans. Newly elected assembly member Corey Jackson said police canines were first used by slave catchers and are a violent carryover from America's dark past. And that is a vicious and unforgiving part of our history that has created nightmares, that has institutionalized and created generational trauma. It's why he wants to ban police from using them for arrest, apprehension, or any form of crowd control. He cited data from the California Department of Justice that shows nearly two thirds of people injured by canines are black or Latino. Many of these bites can create lifelong injuries. So let's make this clear lifelong injuries before you're proven guilty. Republican Assemblymember Tom Lackey was with the California Highway Patrol for 28 years. Canines have a very unique function in that they're there to uh, provide another less lethal uh, use of force when, when you have a resistive or combative suspect or circumstances that, that require a less lethal intervention. I asked Assemblymember Jackson to respond to that. There's even more safer ways than canines. Right. And the idea is this. You're almost guaranteed to hurt someone by using a canine. This is before you have been proven to be guilty. Lackey also says the bill is confusing. The bill still allows canines to detect narcotics. But what if that detection leads to an arrest? Can the canine be used? One of the points of confusion, but there are going to be other points of confusion because it's simply just not a good idea. I got more clarification from the ACLU after the press conference. They said the main function of this bill is to prohibit dogs from biting. The dog can still be used to help find a suspect and they can bark, for example, if they find the suspect to let law enforcement know where they are, but they can't learn how to bite. Interesting. Now, Morgan, has this assembly member talked to others about this proposal? Does he actually have enough support? So he said that he has spoken to many of his colleagues, uh, some of them he believes he will have strong allies with them. He says that he's looking forward to continuing educating his colleagues and looks forward to talking to more assembly members who have a background in law enforcement like Assembly Member Lackey. All right, we know you'll be tracking this for us. Morgan Reiner, thank you.